from apricot flowers to apricots, from peach flower to peaches. The season progresses as we look forward to another year of abundance. Baby figs are showing plum flowers turn into tiny little plums. Apples flowers, Asian pear flowers, but no flowers from the European pears. Cherries, however, is doing really great. We may have some cherries this year. Strawberries, they're flowering right now. Blueberries, and they are magnets for bees. It's always fascinating to see the bees hovering over the blueberry blossoms. I have a sea of raspberries. You can see they're almost getting ready to flower. Huckleberries, these are Europeans' elderberries. This is my blackberry patch, just budding right now. Honeyberries. You see the little honeyberry forming right there behind the net? These are mulberries. They're flowering right now. Very small. See? These are aronia berries. They are full of antioxidants. Currants. That's our grapevine. We have a dedicated herb garden, some chives over here, and a dedicated brassica bed. Broccoli, cauliflower, cabbages, and these are onions, different kinds. Even by the downsprouts, we have purple artichoke. This will be our first one. We've been harvesting asparagus every single day. This is celery bed. I started them from seeds. This is a bed of potatoes and fava beans. The fava beans provide the nitrogen for the potatoes and also it gives the shades that potatoes want. We direct sow some spinach, tiny ones. This is soybeans at the mummy. We have some lettuces also direct sowed. Very pretty. I'm trying to do some seed starting also of unusual vegetables such as bitter melon, winter melon, winged beans. This is French sorrel. It came back year after year. Some garlic. This is a volunteer radish. Comfrey. They have beautiful flowers. This is sage. Lemon balm. Oh, I think that's rosemary. We have flowers too, like tulips, daffodils. I love these tulips. Peonies are just starting. The persimmon tree. And this is black walnut. Brand new this year. These are some of the blossoms around the garden. Oh, don't forget our mushrooms. They're yummy. Inside the house facing the south-facing window are some herbs. Shizzle here. I'm going to plant out a new persimmon tree. And that is the garden. Wait, so why did that lady kick you out again? Because I was wearing a white hair thing on my hair. And for Chinese, we go to the funeral in white, not black. She was very offended. White, the white! The same, oh, like the one that I'm wearing right now? Exactly. Okay, I see. Go to a birthday party of Chinese old lady in this thing. Okay, let's go. That's a lot of pork floss. Yes. Mmm. Yum, yum, good. Is it a real school? <laughs> <laughs> Is it a real school? I know. What do you mean? <laughs> Is it a real school that have, has a campus? Or yes, just, of course. Or is it just in somebody's backyard? That's it. No, it's real. Really? That's why it takes 18 hours to get there by plane. <laughs> Very meaty. Well, yeah, it's a duck. Yeah, but it's a lot of meat. Sometimes it doesn't have that much meat. But this one has definitely a lot of meat. Hey, There's all meat in here. The, the pump sauce? Kind of smells like nukman. Nukman? No way it smells like a fish sauce. It's like pork. Yeah. Yeah, you don't need to eat it. 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 It's okay. Don't worry. We are good. You didn't even wait for me. Wait for you for what? To go to Vancouver. Why would we wait for you? Do you want to go eat Chinese food? Well, do you eat all my papaya? I don't think we need to do all of it. Yeah, no need to be So sticky. Yes, it is sticky. You're right by there.
Well, I assume that when you graduate, you have a diploma, right? Yeah. Not a piece of paper. Yeah, Kalfus, you know, they have running water and bathrooms in Australia too. You, you don't have to just sit and oh, on top of some, a big hole and then... <laughs> I don't know. I mean, your mom didn't describe anything, so I don't know if they have anything. You thought she was just living in like a house made out of sticks and mud yes. when she went there? The picture she, she sent us uh, doesn't... It looks like you were eating uh, congee every day. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so uh, we figured that you probably went to Chinatown hiding somewhere. That's about it. You thought I was in the international district the whole time? Yes, that's what we thought. There's a lot of other Chinese people in Australia. Yes, I'm sure. Lots of Singaporeans, specifically. I've been meeting a lot of Singaporeans too. I'm, I'm living with the one to see. He's moving in next month. Mm, sounds fun. Let's hope he knows how to do his laundry. Oh, yeah. They don't know how to use laundry machine? Okay, so we're setting the table with these chopsticks. Uh, so this one, I don't know if you can tell what's wrong with it. I'm gonna hold this one up for comparison. You kind of have to hold it a bit weird if you want it to work. So that's why I'm giving them to you. Hi, my name is David. I'm Kim's cousin. Thank you. What do you do for a living? I harass Kimberly. Um, I mean like, how do you get paid? Uh, I get paid by eating food. Wow. She can't finish. Okay, so you're unemployed? No comment. Well, did you take all the pictures? I just took one picture. Okay, then picture, take, so take them all. Take them all. That's not sesame on top, right? No, no, no. I think it's like cornflakes or something. Inside, mm -hmm. like that two plate yeah. inside the same thing, down. right? It's the same. It's a small plate, already, huh? Train, right here. Train. Yeah, the, the, the overnight train is very fast. <coughs> yeah. I don't think they want overnight train. They want daytime trains. I Several know. nice trains. Really? Several nights. Like, they just want one day train. <laughs> oh, so I you want to eat pasta? I like cruise, okay? okay? It's okay. Relax on the sea, on the by the by the uh, uh, swimming pool. <laughs> I like that better than sitting on the airplane. Very painful for 20 hours. And eating at the buffet. Yeah, the buffet. I like that. Oh, <laughs> yeah. And don't go to the specialty restaurants because they charge you. No, show me. Shirt. You bought... Oh. See, this is... Wait, show me the shirt. You bought this willingly. No, I think I look good. <laughs> I think it looks pretty solid in the shirt. Did they cast you in like sex education or Stranger Things? Oh, that would be that would be pretty nice. Yeah, sex education is a great show. I'd love to be, dude. Uh, Otis's jacket. Yeah. I like this jacket. This colors. You're, are you incriminating me? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'll cut that out so I don't dox you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. So you can like friend people on here, and you you can like swipe up, and you get like notifications. Like David went to McDonald's four times this week. No, you only rate it once. This is purely about the, you know, the purity of... You're realizing this is a little embarrassing. It's not embarrassing at all. I, I actually have multiple friends on it. Really? And it's great, yeah. And then what's the age range of these friends? You know... I'm just kidding. It's like 25. You right? have this niche restaurant rating yes. startup app. Yep. But you think Instagram is like... A... Toxic. It's the next cool thing. Okay, you yeah. Know? Yeah, yeah. We're so, all gonna be just, on belly yeah. rating yeah. Din yeah. Tai Fung in the next three years. That's yeah. what you think? Yeah, yeah. I mean, if you're a foodie, you know. Unlike some people I know who just eat every day. Other I'm not stuff. gonna dox anybody, but. Like, oh, okay, you know, okay, wow. <laughs> those people, they can go on Instagram. Okay, turn to the other side. I want the camera to catch your gray hair. What are your thoughts on the 10 minute version of All Too Well? Uh, it's okay. It's a little bit long. <laughs> okay, that's all. Fair. I'm like, whatever. I probably won't listen to the entire... I think I would kill myself if there was a 10-minute <laughs> yeah, version of Karma playing on the radio. That, would be, that, that would sounds be like karma. my personal nightmare. Yeah. Tis the damn season and Christmas tree farm. Which one do you think is the superior Taylor Swift sanctioned Christmas carol? Personally, tis the damn season. It's a little bit more low key. So like in Don't by Ed Sheeran, he's singing about this woman who he was like, staying at the same hotel floor mm -hmm. until she disappeared to have sex with him of course and then he never saw him as a fret um it so he's him. yeah yeah let me finish <laughs> okay. but he also goes out of his way to mention that these two people are both on tour which is implying that they're musicians right 
Mm-hmm. So you think at first that he's singing about Taylor Swift, maybe, or at least people who like saw him like out with Taylor Swift might have assumed that. It's actually not a song about Taylor Swift. It's actually a song about Ellie Goulding. And who? And him? And Niall Horan from One Direction. <laughs> I'm not your farmer's self, you blithering idiot! I'm Noel from One Direction! Oh... Niall Horan has like surprisingly amazing riz. Um, <laughs> what the hell does that mean? You gotta tell, update me on the Gen Z lingo. In the back and then eat it in the airport. That sounds not suspicious at all. <laughs> yeah, wrap that up <laughs> for him to go to the car. Get a small cut. so serious right now you want me to wear that okay how far does that drawstring go doesn't matter it keeps you warm <laughs> <laughs> what is it pineapple strawberry where did you get them from i'll show you Go ahead. Yes. Three, two, one. Oh, that's a nice one. Whoa, that's a big boy. That's a good size. That one's a bit smaller. Which one should I pull? They're not super ready. This one is kind of ready. Ready? Go ahead. Oh, you know. These are the biggest boys. Some of them are ready. What do you think of this one? That looks pretty good. Oh, how about this? This got to be ready. Let's try this. Go ahead. That's one. This one is uh, just as fat, so let's take that. And these are not as fat. And these are Sheldon peas. You want to see? Those are your peas, you know? Yummy. And that's your pea. You actually could eat it raw. That's what I'm going to serve you too. Wow, this is a fatty one. Look at that. That one could have waited for like a few days to get even further. Look at that. Okay, let's go in. Like, no, let him in. I'm getting in off some of that action. Nice and clean. Get all the oils out of their fur. Just can't get wet because they wouldn't really dry. Are they, are they not heavy or are you just strong? Because you're like holding both of them in a bucket with them. They're yes. approximately 500 ish grams each. Grams? Yeah, well, that's how you measure chinchillas in grams because they are small. You don't measure them in special chinchilla units? Yeah. These guys are about three years old. So you're thinking of getting rid of them? Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm trying to rehome them. Jamie. Oh, I can't even like, he's gonna try and jump on you. <laughs> Who are you? What's your name? I'm Caitlin. I am friend of him. Yes. And how did we meet? High school. You have to say what we rehearsed. I saved you from the bus of orphans during the fire, remember? The bus of orphans during the fire? Yeah. They Sounds were all really hungry. No, okay, we'll, 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 we'll do a second take. Okay. Anyway. You have to break out a script and then I can give my brilliant acting skills. We were actually in a high school play together. Yes, that is right. <laughs> and where are we right now? We are getting fobbed. I just quit my job at the Vietnamese restaurant. Yes. So, ironic. Let me know what you want to order. Yes. Ah, I have to figure that out. Can you describe to me what this technique is called? It reminds me a little bit of knitting. It's called knitting the stew. So, 
soaked everything, get soaked, and release all the flavors. Here we go. Not the worst, also not the best. The student has become the master. Mm, it's good. This has got to be the ugliest Crocs I've ever seen. The best of both worlds, soft inside and people who like Crocs have crocky outside. <laughs> Why wouldn't you just buy like some regular fur-lined boots or something? I wish my feet were insulated, but I also wish that I had sports mode Crocs so I could run. Mr. Holland. Oh my god. <laughs> Mr. Holland, if you're watching this, we would never say that about you. <laughs> Wait, no, did he like, did he literally have like a pair of like flip-flops or something that he told us he literally found on a beach and he just wore them? How is he not afraid of flesh-eating bacteria? Why is this kind of serving? <laughs> Got a high angle, their needle, their 16 gauge needles all looped onto their belt. Pull out, stab some, <laughs> some patients. Oh my god, this is sar coquette. Okay, we don't strictly need this, but hair oil is in right now. Didn't even know Paris Hilton had lip plumpers. <laughs> it has aloe flavor, there's not enough aloe to it. So, do you want to drink the grape aloe or the aloe aloe? This one has calcium and vitamin C added to it. Maybe help us get the one with the extra nutrients. Let's check their nutrient profile. We just left Ross. Why did you get food? Because <laughs> I need food. Food and clothes are my two favorite things. I got poison berry shortbread cookies, aloe vera juice. And then I got an olive dark green shirt that I really like and a lovely white tennis skirt too. Yep, so it was very successful. It smells good. Smell the cookies. It's good. No food is getting shortbread at the moment. <laughs> you ready for me to chug? Chug, chug, <laughs> chug. Too much aloe, would you say? Like grapeish, actually. <laughs> really? Yeah. Are you sure you didn't get the grape flavor? I, I am sure. Yeah. Let's see, purified water, aloe vera pulp, cane sugar, citric acid. That might be it. Aloe flavor, fructose, calcium, lactate, sodium citrate, and vitamin C, beta carotenoids. There's no grape in here, but it's oddly grape flavored. We thought that the aloe flavoring in this was a bit excessive, but actually it's the grape flavoring Does that's it? completely redundant. Does it smell grapeish to you? Oh yeah, that's like totally grape. <laughs> oh. mm -hmm. Yep, good stuff. <laughs> Wait, what happened with the big aloe vera that you bought? So I had brought it into work this morning, and Carmen, our office manager, she saw it out of the corner of her eye. She saw this two liter tall <laughs> yellowish Did green Did she see bottle. you like drinking yeah, from she it? going to do a two liter bottle at least make it like coke <laughs> right mm, yeah that was hilarious yes this has happened before sometimes i like to drink tea and so i got my own bottle of honey except for one time during downtime i wanted something sugary so i just like kicked the top off and started like chugging it <laughs> and she saw me and she just started laughing and i'm all like <laughs> Yes, this is me. This is what I'm doing. Just pouring honey straight into my mouth. <laughs> okay, so for the week of July 4th, we have our Freedom From Pain <laughs> event. And if they refer in family, friends, other people they know that might need chiropractic care, those people get a free day one, and the patient gets to enter a raffle for a summer gift basket, which I think includes a paddle board. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, and if we hit 250 patients for that week, then I get $250 in bonus. Right, well, I have a mustache <laughs> and a little makeup. You're willing to be all 250. We only need about 30 
or so. 15 people who each did the day one and day two. That would be 30. I can concoct 15 more personas. <laughs> uh, I will point out that if they ask for my medical insurance, it will say the same name all 15 times. And at that point, I think the jig is up. But... I, I will happily come in 30 times to the clinic to make your $250 bonus come true. <laughs> oh, thank you. I appreciate it. Here's my audition tape for Caitlin's 15 new patients. Hi, I'm Kimberly, and I'm here for the pain special. Hello, my name is Jean-Francois, and I'm here for the pain special. Hi, my name is Sandy, and I'm here for the pain special. Woo, if there are two things I love, it's freedom from chronic pain <laughs> and independence. Go America! And free stuff! USA! USA! Come on, say it with me, Kate. <laughs> Do you think other people could see us in our car? <laughs> My god, a pride gingerbread house. Tantaro. How do you pronounce it again? Tantaro. <laughs> Why are you begging like a dog? You're a chicken. You're too slow, Jane. <laughs> Just me and you're texting. Come on, come on, Mary, wherever you are. <laughs> Okay, so we just stopped by Crumble Cookies. We got a galaxy brownie, wedding cake, I think it's pink almond, and a fruit cookie. The fruit one looked kind of questionable, but they said it's like a lemony frosting with some fruit on top. So that makes it look more appealing. I had fruit pies and my um, dad's family came over and those were really good. So I'm like, I'd be all right. <laughs> I'm really excited for the galaxy brownie and the wedding cake. I think the wedding cake is going to be really good. Brownies, of course, are always delicious. Duh. Um, I don't know, on the lower end is the almond and the fruit cake. Maybe the almond, just because it's so entirely basic. At least with the fruit cake, it's a little unique. I personally think the fruit pizza is the most dubious looking. <laughs> like, we kind of hesitated before picking it. Yeah. Uh, mostly because the only other option is milk chocolate, and we're like, come on, we've had chocolate chip cookies before. Yeah. So, I also think that the fruit pizza is going to be the most dubious, but let's see. All right. All right. Hmm. Well, we tried the. <laughs> I knew this was gonna happen. All right. New angle. All right. So we tried the brownie cookie. It's really good. It just no matter what I do, it just keeps breaking apart <laughs> into little pieces in my hand. So you really have to be fast with this. They don't call it crumble for nothing. Look at this one little pearl sitting at the top. So precious. It's like a little piece of tomato on a salsa chip. <laughs> it's like Tinkerbell's shoe, a little pom-pom at the end. It tastes like Tinkerbell's shoe. How do you know that? Sort of the light, airy goodness that I'm sure Tinkerbell's shoes would have. It tastes like it's very... What do you think of the wedding cake one? They put cream cheese frosting on it, so it's not too sweet. Mmm. I'm like, is that cream cheese? I said that. It was not that you mentioned it. It does taste like it. I just go back and forth between this brownie and the wedding cake. Help me eat these shards of cookie, please. <laughs> After eating at Dairy Queen, I feel like brownies always need like vanilla ice cream to go with it. Good room, do you? We don't have any. <laughs> <laughs> but that would be nice. We do have milk at home. I'm not a milk person. Like I will need water after this. <laughs> mm -hmm. Me too. Even the crumbs are disintegrating <laughs> even further into smaller crumbs. Do you like the brownie or the wedding cake one more? I like the wedding cake. I just feel like brownie is a very cloying wedding cake. It's airier, I guess. Crumble employees have to sign an NDA before working there. Did you know that? Really? Mm -hmm. Wow. To keep the cookies a secret. Nice. They can make it at home. <laughs> just not telling anyone how they did it. Well, the real secret to it is that they underbake it. Mm. So it's not completely baked. That's mm. why it has that texture. You'll notice that mm -hmm. it doesn't really snap apart. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's because it's not fully cooked. I think it makes more sense though. Imagine like trying to break apart a giant cookie. So for $5 a cookie, would you say it was worth it? They're definitely really good. Yeah. I'm not sure if they're like worth $5 each. That seems like a lot. Mm -hmm. But they are good. What do you think? 
I think it's like just about the amount that I'm willing to pay for gourmet cookies. Mm-hmm. Any more than that, and I'm like, that's insane. Right. <laughs> You're trying to straddle a fine line right there. Yeah, like the wedding cake one. To me, it doesn't really taste specifically like a wedding cake. I associate that with more like very artificial vanilla sweet frosting. Right, yeah. This is just a nice plain cream cheese frosting cookie. Mm -hmm. It exceeded my expectations. This is so cool. <laughs> <laughs> Stand up, throw a cookie in the air. <laughs> <laughs> it immediately like shatters into a million pieces. Well, that's one more cookie we're not going to finish. <laughs> We On March 8, 2023, we had our last hail fall. After that, spring came, and this year, I wanted to show you the plants that were self-sowed, such as this beetroot. It has gone to seeds. Beetroots and carrots are biennials, meaning the second year they go to seeds. And this is a single carrot plant, as tall as I am, that is self-sowed and has gone to seeds. So next year, I will have carrots and beetroots everywhere, at least I hope. Another root vegetables would be parsnip. They come every spring. If you look closely underneath, there is daikon radish, leeks. They come twice a year, spring and fall. We have a bed dedicated to celery that pop up everywhere. Fennels are notoriously self-sowed. Here's another fennel that is going to seeds. Kale, an annual that behaves like perennials because they come back every single year. The same with Swiss shards. This is a single mustard green plant, as tall as I am, and they are all over the garden, all by themselves. Calendula and borage, yeah, they're self-sowed as well as this plant, which is uh, asparagus among my tomatoes and tomatillas. More borage in the garden. They're magnets for bees, nasturtiums. Yeah, they came back from last year. Even slicing tomatoes like this one, as well as cherry tomatoes like this one, are self-sowed. We even have trees that were self-seeded. These are noble firs. We have three of them along the fence line. And if you look closely, yes, the common weeds are definitely self-sowed.